factoring polynomials in perfect square trinomials. When factoring using perfect square trinomials, look for the following three things. Is there three terms? Last term must be positive. First and last terms must be perfect squares. If all three of the above are true, write open and close parentheses with the square using the sign of the middle. So for example, we have a square minus 8a plus 16. So the, the first term and the last term or the third term is a perfect square. Okay, so are there a perfect square? Yes, because the square root of a square is a and the square root of 16 is 4. So we have now, what is the sign of the middle term? Negative. So therefore, we have the square of a minus 4. So you are going to write negative here. Okay, so let us check. To check that, get the square of the first term. The square of the first term, a is a square. How about the second term? The square of the second term is 16. And then get the product of the two terms. What is the product of the two terms? a times negative 4, we have negative 4a. And twice of it, we have negative 8a. Okay, another example. Let's say we have x squared plus 10x plus 25. So the first term and the last term are perfect square. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 25 is 5. And then the sign of the middle term is positive. So write the positive here. And then put the, the square on the binomial. Therefore, we have the square of x plus 5, are the, which are the factors of this polynomial. So, let us check. The square of x is x squared. The square of 5 is 25. And then, the product of the two terms, the product, so we have going to multiply these two, we have x times 5. So, we have 5x. And then twice of it, multiplied by 2, we have 10x. So therefore, we have the correct factors. Let us have another example. We have 4y squared plus 16y plus 16. So the square root of 4y squared is 2y. And the square, square root of 16 is so we have now 2y plus 4. Let us check. 2 times 4 is 8y. Times 2, we have 16. Okay? So to factor this completely, we have, uh, we have said that uh, the factor of this is 2 times the quantity of y plus 2. Okay? Another example, we have 9y squared as the first term and then we have 25 as the third term. So, the, so we can say this is perfect square trinomial. Let us check. 9y squared, the square root is 3y and the square root of 25 is 5. We have the middle term as Positive, so write positive here. So 3, 3y times 5, we have 15y times 2, so we have 30y as the middle term. Okay, so, so therefore the factors are the binomial of 3y plus 5. Number 5. Or the fifth example, we have 3r squared minus 18r 
plus 27. So, therefore, first thing to do, do we have here the GCF? So, the GCF is 3. So, all terms are divisible by 3. So, let us divide 3 to those terms. So, 3R squared divided by 3 is R squared. And 8, negative 18R divided by 3 is negative 6R. Positive 27 divided by 3 is positive 9. So, therefore, let us check if, the, if this trinomial is a perfect square. Is the first term is a perfect square? Yes, r squared, the square root is r. How about the last term, 9? Is 9 is a perfect square? What is the square root? So we have 3. And what is the sign of the middle term? So the sign is negative, negative sign. So therefore, write negative here. Okay? So therefore, r squared minus 6r plus 9 is a perfect square. And the factors are r minus 3 or this, the square of r minus 3. So therefore, the final answer now is 3 times r minus 3 raised to the second power. Okay, so let us have uh, another example. We have 2a square minus 8a plus 8. So what is the GCF here. So, as you can see, the GCF is 2. So, factored out 2. So, we have now a square minus 4a plus 4. So, 4 is a perfect square and also a square is a perfect square. So, therefore, we have now a minus 2. So, the final answer now is 2 times the quantity of a minus 2. So, thank you for listening. So, sorry if, uh, if my camera is blacked out.